Hey guys, this is Handless Books. Today I'm going to do the Bookish Academy Awards. I'm so excited. These aren't going to be like all the novels that came out in 2015 because to be honest I didn't read a lot of novels that came out in 2015. These are just going to be the novels I read in 2015. The first category is Best Actor, Best Male Protagonist. To be quite honest, I only read, I think, three books with male protagonists, which is just crazy, right? Um, I don't have any... Each of them, like, they're just not my favorite. I don't think they're the best. I didn't really have a favorite, which is kind of disappointing. It's kind of sad. 2016, I'm going to try to read more books with male protagonists. Best actress, best female protagonist. You guys probably know what I'm going to choose, and that's Juliet. She is my favorite of the protagonists I read this year. I just love her so much. I love everything about these, these books. So, yeah, definitely Juliet from the Shatter Me trilogy. Best cinematography, best plot twist. I'll have to go with We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. It's yeah, I can't talk about it, and I hate saying it, but, you know, I have to use it, because this is this was the best plot twist that I have read. Because some of them, I see it coming. This, I did not see coming whatsoever. <laughs> best costume design. Best book cover. I really don't know. I have a lot. I, my favorite, I think I'll have to say, my favorite book cover that I got and I've seen this year is the new Harry Potter illustrated edition. This cover is just gorgeous and the insides are gorgeous and I love them. It's just beautiful. Hedwig and everything and yes. Best supporting actress or actor. Best male or female sidekick. Kenji from the Shatter Me trilogy. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Best original screenplay. Most unique plot slash world. And I'll have to go with The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. I've never read anything like this book and it's just so cool and there's so many unique things in it and such unique plots and it's about an assassin and a pirate getting together which is just so cool and unique. So yes, I love it. Oh, read it read it. <laughs> Best adapted screenplay. Best book to movie adaptation. And you guys probably know what I'm gonna choose because this is definitely the best one in 2015 and it is The Hunger Games The Mockingjay Part 2. It was amazing. I've already watched it twice in theaters. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. It was everything I could ask for for the last movie. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> Best animated feature. A book that would work well at in an animated format. I think I'll go with The Amulet, The Stonekeeper. It's a graphic novel series. I think it would look so good in animation. It would be a really good movie series, I think. Or it could be a TV show. That would be cool. Best Director. A writer you discovered for the first time. <sighs> You guys all know. I want to pick Tara Moffey because she's my favorite... I'd want to pick Tara Moffey because she's my favorite writer of this year. But I'll pick Jennifer L. Armentrout. I really like her writing. Um, her writing keeps me hooked and it's fast-paced. So I'll definitely say that she's one of my favorite writers that I have read this year. Best visual effects. Best action in a book. What kills me. Um, I love that duology. It's actually free on Kindle. It's amazing and it's so good. Um, I just love the action in it because I felt like I was watching a movie. It's just my kind of action. I loved it. I loved it so much. Best musical score. Best music in a book to movie adaptation. Either the Hunger Games series music soundtrack or the Twilight series. I love them both. I don't, I can't choose. Best short film. Best novella or short book. I'll have to go with the Destroy Me novella from the Shatter Me series. Sorry, sorry. I just loved it so much. I loved that. I loved it. I loved it. Oh my gosh. I love this picture. Best standalone. Oh gosh. You, you're gonna really make me choose one. I can't. The host. All the yesterdays are stolen. There's more. These are just some of them. Best documentary. Best historical fiction or nonfiction book. Between Shades of Grey by Rucha Septis is my one of my favorite historical fiction. And Prisoner of Night and Fog by, I forget, Anne Blankman. I love that also. That is all for the Book Academy Awards. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tag all of you guys to do this. Um, and please subscribe down below and like this video if you liked it. Bye!